Well, hi there, Adam Basiljet here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today's subject, a really good one, how do we really enjoy golf? My five top tips as to how to do that. What's more important than enjoying this great game? But honestly, a lot of us don't as much as we should, myself included, to be honest with you. I'm going to share with you four things that I know if you take these into consideration will help, and then at the end I'm going to share with you something that'll take you less than two minutes, will change your golf life forever for the better. I promise you, share this video with friends if you find it helpful. We need to get people out there not just playing the game, but enjoying it. Well, briefly, if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed, we'd love it if you did. Also, if you decide to do that, hit the bell there. You'll be notified every time a new video is coming your way. Well, the first thing, it's a fact you have to recognize, golf doesn't take very long if you actually look at the amount of time playing it. If you're a 90 shooter, playing about four hours, let's say, if we gave you 15 seconds as the build up, the routine, the hit of every shot, it's about 22 minutes out of four hours, or more likely four hours and 15 minutes. If you really look at just the couple of seconds it actually takes to hit, it's maybe only about three minutes. So first fact, second one will relate to it, recognize that most of being out here on the golf course does not in fact involve hitting golf shots. See how that shot does? Not too bad. Okay, the fact is, once you've accepted number one that the great majority of your time out here does not involve hitting golf shots, you have to, this is important, you have to make a commitment to enjoying the process between the shots. Don't fret about what you just did on the previous shot. Don't over concern yourself with what you might have to do with another shot before it's time. You've got some time to make a commitment no matter how you're playing to enjoy that a little bit. You've got nature. Hey, it's beautiful out here in South Florida. I understand that, but nature's beautiful everywhere. You've got camaraderie. None of us knows how many rounds we have left in our life, make a commitment to getting some enjoyment in between shots. Okay, number three on my list. Accept the fact this is a low margin for error game. Tiny sweet spot, long club, balls going a great distance, all sorts of variables. You have to accept that fact. It's not an easy game. It's a low margin for error game. I'm telling you, most of the time, even the best of players struggle within rounds even. In other words, four or five holes kind of struggling, get it back a little bit. It's part of the game. You just have to accept that. It's unlikely that when you're struggling out on the golf course that you're really as far away as you think from playing some decent golf. So just accept it, hang in there, you'll enjoy your golf a lot more. Okay, before I share with you that thing that I know is going to make a real difference in your golf life, let's look at point number four. And that is, how many bad shots have you hit in your life? I've played for 45 years, 10,000 maybe? I mean, really bad shots. How many of those can you really remember, at least beyond a few days of playing? For me, if I'd have to really think about it, that's a lot of bad shots, but I really don't remember very, very many at all. If any, there may be an occasion where you're in front of a member guest playoff and there's a huge crowd and you flub a chip or something like that you know, some reason why you were on stage and you failed or something like that. But by and large, you won't remember any of those bad shots. And I'm telling you, if you don't remember them, your buddies and your friends, the people you play with them, they're not going to remember them either. So number four, make a commitment. Hey, you're not in a war out here. My dad was in the Second World War getting shot at every day. This isn't like that. Hey, there's some struggles, there's some problems we shared those with you, but make a commitment to playing freely, playing without fear. You'll have to recommit on this. We all get a little tight at times. Make a commitment to playing without fear. You'll enjoy it more. Let me test my metal here with a little delicate pitch. Not bad. Hit just a little behind it, but that's a decent outcome. Play without fear. You'll enjoy it more. Okay, number five. Cannot recommend this strongly enough, literally cannot. I read this every six months, it's a commitment I make, or approximately every six months. Go on a search engine and look up Fred Shoemaker, Letter to Younger Me. It'll take you less than, certainly less than two minutes to read. Read that, think over some things, compare what he says there to himself in an imaginary letter with your experiences on the golf course. Reread that, consider these points. I'd love it if you'd share this video with friends. We need this game to grow. Not just grow, we need people to enjoy this game more. Letter to Younger Me by Fred Shoemaker. Look it up. You'd be glad you did. Best of luck with your golf and enjoy yourself. Well, thanks for watching. Again, share this with friends if you think it's helpful. We've got to get people enjoying this game. I've got to work at it myself a little bit. Don't always have enough fun. Hope this is going to change things for you.